Okay, let's be honest. We all love isekai anime, but unfortunately, we'll never get isekai'd in reality. So at the very least, we can watch plenty of shows that feature this beautiful isekai subgenre, right? So throw the reality out the window and start screaming, because we're ranking some transferred to game world anime today. Hold on to your chair, and let's go. Number 10, Infinite Dendogram. <laughs> Imagine a video game world, not SAO, where you can die without any consequences. Yeah, it does sound like a fairy tale, but this is the premise of this anime. So if you die in this world, you're simply locked out of your account for something like 48 hours. How cool is that? Okay, so let's talk about the plot. So the anime follows Rei, who enters in an MMORPG game and finds that both players and highly advanced AI have crafted the entire living, breathing world. Despite his inexperience, he appears to be a natural and constantly outperforms opponents far above his skill level. Okay, so it's a lighthearted fantasy anime that you can just sit back and enjoy. Aside from minor issues such as the protagonist's blandness, the world is interesting and filled with interesting characters, but don't expect it to blow you away. It's just a fun show that I hope gets a follow-up season someday. Number 9. She professed herself pupil of the wise man. What if an old guy turned into a lolly? Yeah, that'd be pretty messed up. I mean, should we respect the character or Simfer? <laughs> Well, worry not, you can find your answers while watching this anime. Okay, so this anime follows Kagami, who has been playing the online video game Arc Earth Online for a long time as the character Dunbalf, an old male sorcerer who is one of the game's nine great sages. <laughs> He's basically Dumbledore. <laughs> One day after adjusting his character, he's sucked into the game world and finds himself in a lolly girl's body. All right, let's talk about the elephant in the room. There are some still frame scenes where nothing is animated and there's some bad CGI, but to be honest, it's not too much and you can easily ignore it. I mean, it's a decent show and has little things to appreciate here and there. So why not give it a try? Number eight, I'm standing on a million lives. <laughs> <laughs> Strap in guys because it isn't going to be an easy ride. So apparently this death game anime follows a different formula where if you die in the other world, you don't die in real life. But if you fail the quest, you die in real life. We follow a high school boy who has no real friends or social life. Same. Uh, he hates Tokyo and his life there. Fortunately, one day he's summoned to a mysterious world, assigned to a random class, and given a quest to complete with two of his classmates. But there's a catch. If you fail the task, you die. I don't know about you guys, but I would stay away from this shit. Uh, so, it's a decent anime. I mean, unlike other isekai stories, this has some uniqueness to the story. So, should you give it a try? I mean, yeah. It might not blow you away, but it's a fairly decent dark show, despite being so goofy. Number 7. Full Dive. <laughs> This show is what I would like to call an isekai light, where characters are technically in another world, but it's just a video game world, and to be honest, I like this formula. So the anime follows Hiroshi, who likes playing full dive RPG games. After failing to obtain the most recent version of his favorite game, Hiroshi stumbles upon a game shop and meets its lovely clerk, Rayona. She persuades him to purchase a copy of Kiwame Quest so they can play together. Okay, so Full Dive offers a lot more than your traditional game transfer storyline. While it is initially a comedy anime with some etchy stuff, there's also some good life lessons to be learned here. Plus, who can say no to some good fan service? Yeah, now we're talking. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> In the end, Full Dive might not be for everyone, but it has an interesting concept and potential that is sure to keep you hooked. Number 6, Ixion Saga DT. <laughs> Imagine you're playing a video game and suddenly you feel movement around you. You start wondering, is this a 4D game? Until you realize you're falling with your chair, and now you've landed in a fantasy world. 
Sounds interesting. Well, yeah, that's exactly what happens here. So the main character, Kung, gets trapped in a fantasy world. Now he's the key to save the world. Yeah, talk about pressure. Okay, so as you can see, the story is very ordinary and the art and animation are not particularly good. However, this anime truly shines in terms of the number of laughs it provides. Imagine you combine a genuinely funny anime with fast-paced and likable characters. Well, if you get this anime. So if you're tired of seeing the same fantasy game anime year after year, Ixion Saga DT will give you another reason to laugh. Better grab some popcorn. Number 5. Endo and Kabayashi Live Okay, so I feel reincarnated as the villainous isekai subgenre is getting oversaturated now, and this is the latest addition to that formula. So this anime follows Kobayashi, who's desperate to get fellow broadcasting club member Endo to play her favorite Otome game. Love me magically. Why? Because she wants to show off her all-time favorite character, aka villain, Lisa Lett. She suggests that the two of them keep a running commentary while they play to help Endo improve his broadcasting skills. But little do they know that Lisa Lett's in-game fiancé can hear their every word. Alright, I must say, the premise of this anime is solid. I mean, this not only provides a new way for the villain to avoid her stereotypically tragic end, but it also adds a second layer to the plot. So with a dual-layered story, entertaining characters, and memorable moments, this anime has a lot to love. Don't believe me? Why not try it for yourself? Off. Number 4. Skeleton Knight in Another World <laughs> Skeleton characters are fun! No, not talking about Overlord here. But still, imagine our Overlord Ainz having an actual caring family who taught him basic morals. He also has respect for his people and has healthy relationships with women. That pretty much sums up this anime in a nutshell. So as you can guess, the anime follows a guy who wakes up and finds himself in the body of a skeleton. However, he's a holy knight who has been cursed to look like a skeleton. So what does he do next? He becomes a mercenary adventurer in order to learn more about the world he's in while remaining anonymous. Okay, now let's remove the elephant from the room first. This anime is dark and they're not afraid to showcase those elements. Children, do me a favor and save your innocence, please. On the other hand, if you want a laid back isekai with dark elements and you're an adult, well, Skeleton Knight is for you. Number three, I'm the villainess, so I'm taming the final boss. <laughs> Yay, another villainous show. So what's new this time? Romance with the Demon Lord? Eh, interesting. Okay, so the anime follows Eileen, the villain in an Atome romance game. But this is not your typical Eileen. Apparently a woman from the real world apparently died and was reincarnated as Eileen. So she knows what's in store for her character and it's not good. Now she must use what she remembers from the past to do whatever she can to avoid her fated death. Even if it means romancing with the Demon King. I mean, come on, Demon King, what's next? Romance with Ogre, oh God. Well, well, what can I say? It's a fun anime. I mean, it sure has a similar premise to Hamefura, but instead of creating a reverse harem, the protagonist is set on one guy. Overall, I would definitely recommend this show to anyone who enjoys watching lighthearted and entertaining shows. Number two, Recreators. <laughs> Imagine you're minding your own business while watching your favorite anime, and next second, poof, you're in that anime. I don't know about you guys, but I know where I'm going. High school DX thing. Yes! That's bad. So this anime follows Soda, who finds himself in the anime world right in the middle of a battle between Celestia and an unknown foe, Gunpuku. Now you might think, is this just another trapped in another world anime, but wait, Gunpuku uses a special ability to transport Celestia, Soda, and herself back to reality. Now Celestia and Soda have to figure out the reason behind this strange phenomenon while dealing with their enemy. Okay, now I'm pretty sure you guys have already watched this anime, if you haven't. Don't talk to me, just go back under your rocks, shoo. <laughs> Jokes apart, it does an excellent job of drawing you in and telling a compelling story. If you want to see something akin to Reverse Fate Stay Night, I recommend watching this show. Number 1. 
Grimgar, Ashes and Illusions. I assume everyone knows about Grimgar, so we can go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Just kidding. So the anime follows a group of people who wake up in a fantasy world with no memories of their previous lives. Daring today, aren't we? In this world, the only real way to survive is to volunteer as a soldier, hunting down monsters and profiting from their loot. So there's no doubt that it is a strong fantasy anime that excels in terms of writing. And don't let me start with the art style, these backgrounds, seriously. If you're looking to add something solid to your collection of fantasy anime, Grimgar should be among them. So what are you waiting for? Stop everything and start watching. Seriously though, if games were that appealing, I wouldn't mind spending the rest of my life there. Uh, I guess that's too much. Can't forget about High School DxD World. So there goes our list of anime where main characters transfer to the game world. As usual, if you liked our video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to our channel. That's all for today, my honest fans, and I will see you in the next video. See ya. I don't wanna fall in love.